Hello Taurus, welcome to a bonus love reading. You were the most views out of the earth signs. So we're going to do a quick past, present, future spread for you. What messages do you have for Taurus? In love, what does Taurus need to know? This will be a general reading Taurus, so it will not resonate with everyone watching. So just keep that in mind. Past, present, future energies for Taurus regarding love, spirit. And what messages do you have for Taurus? Okay, Taurus, let's see. In the past, we have the lovers reverse, present, the sun reverse, yikes. And seven of wands in the future position. Some sort of separation or breakup recently. Maybe there's a disconnect in a connection. Um, or perhaps there was a regret over a choice. And I feel like you're dealing with the outcome of that right now with the sun reverse. Maybe there's something that's unclear or something still kind of hidden beneath the surface. Or perhaps you're really unhappy with the way things have played out. Gemini energy with the lovers there. And then with the seven of wands reverse, this is about standing up for yourself, standing firm, having courage, facing the opposition or whatever challenges with, you know, courage. So let's see, why is the lovers reverse? What happened here? Wheel of Fortune reverse. Well, it felt like the world was ending with the Wheel of Fortune reverse, or just you couldn't catch a break. Things just weren't playing out in the way that you thought. Perhaps this was just the wrong time for things to, to happen, and that's why they never went anywhere. Tell me more about the Lovers reverse. The Hermit, Virgo energy. A lot of thinking, reflecting about what happened. Someone could have withdrawn, maybe cut communication. Someone was, but the Hermit's all about seeking answers, taking time out for yourself. Tell me about the lovers, reverse. Wow, Knight of Pentacles. Very interesting. Some sort of offer here with the Nine of Swords at the bottom. Fear, anxiety, remorse, justice reversed behind that. I feel like there was, um, it's like you've been waiting for an offer and almost like you weren't moving or taking action until this happened. Perhaps it was too little too late or, you know, maybe you're still waiting for this. The Knight of Pentacles takes their time. Someone could have made you some sort of an offer and you rejected them as well. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for Taurus? Four of Pentacles holding back. Being guarded. It could have been that you rejected this or you weren't really open to this offer. Perhaps you wanted to make an offer to someone else. It could be vice versa as well. And they weren't receptive. I feel like you were interested in commitment. Perhaps this other person, you know, whatever this, this offer was, I don't think it really worked out with the lover's reverse. And then I have the sun reverse. Why is the sun reverse? The tower reverse. Why is the sun reverse? Three of cups. Reunion, coming together, celebrating. Could be a third person for some of you. Why is the sun reverse? Eight of pentacles reverse. King of cups reverse. A lot of heartbreak and disappointment. I feel like there's someone in this connection, whether it's you, Taurus, or someone else, that still want to kind of try to make this work or avoid this tower. Maybe you still want to reconcile or have some sort of coming together or meeting. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reverse? It could be that this um, separation or disconnect caught you by surprise with the tower. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reverse? 
Hierophant, Taurus energy. Again with commitment. Something to do with a commitment. Two of Pentacles. Someone could have had another commitment or responsibilities. I feel like they weren't able to put in a lot of effort into this connection. And I feel it's because of something else. What's this Three of Cups about? The Moon Reverse. Yeah, this is something that's that com has come to the surface or will be coming to the surface. Pisces energy with the Moon Reverse. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. Oops, it's way too many. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Someone's going to feel abandoned, left out in the cold. Someone's going to be struggling with this information. Whatever comes to the surface about someone else is going to affect this connection. I feel like this is something that someone was trying to hide or keep hidden to avoid a tower. I don't know if this is you or someone else. I do have your energy here, Taurus, with the higher farm um, card. This is about a commitment or about actual commitment. You know, either an existing commitment or actually committing to each other. Someone's not able to put in the efforts holding back from that. Why is the seven of wands here? This could also be resistance or a block. Fighting for what you believe in, standing firm. Why is the seven of wands here? Yeah, this is someone that has really thought about something and is ready to take action. Tell me about the seven of wands. Someone could be wanting to heal a connection, or perhaps this is about the interference. There's the seven of wands again. Someone's fighting back. Why is this three of uh, swords reverse? This is another card for third party energy. And the third party could be anybody. It could be an existing partner, a previous partner, a family member, a friend. It could be something that's not a person, like an addiction, career, fear of commitment, um, something like that. Long distance. Why is the three of swords reverse? Someone's not able to manifest something because of this interference. Yeah, three of wands reverse, another three. This is about someone who's possibly missing an opportunity or didn't really think about their next steps very well and so they, they're making mistakes perhaps or being they're becoming frustrated or impatient. I feel like someone here, they really screwed up, Taurus. And I don't know. I feel like the other person, which I think is you, is resisting any other, um, I don't know, like like you're, you're standing up for yourself. Why is the seven of wands down here? Oh, that's way too many. Why is the seven of wands down here? The Empress. Yeah, someone's recognizing their value. I don't have time for this. This could be you. I'm worth more than this. Or someone could be fighting for their Empress. You know, maybe they recognize that they really screwed up and they have to make it up to you. Wow, the world. New beginning in love or new cycle. This could be someone wanting to have the world with you with the empress and the world here grow something new the lovers at the bottom of the deck are you kidding me gemini energy i feel like someone wants to fight for this now that they realize that they screwed up i feel they want a new beginning with you they want to grow with you they recognize your value or perhaps you've recognized your value taurus and you're like i don't need this and that's causing someone to act oops can I get my life together here? <laughs> so let's see, what advice does Spirit have for you, Taurus? Any messages or advice for Taurus, please? This is resonating with you. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how it's resonating. If you have um, any questions about the decks that I use, my ebook, or personal readings, all of that is in the description box. Any messages or advice for Taurus? Any messages or advice for Taurus? Okay, we got two. Let's see, we have in the near future and yes. 
Something's gonna happen in the near future here. Just wait for it is what I just heard. Just wait for it. Um, I feel like it's something that you wanted with yes, or you know, maybe you you were expecting a yes, or you want to say yes to something. Bottom of the deck, not the right time. So I feel like maybe what you wanted before, it just wasn't the right time with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. But now in the near future, I think it's gonna be the right time for you. Someone could be making you this offer or asking you or talking to you about a new beginning, a new cycle in love, that they recognize your value. And of course, it's gonna be up to you to decide what to do with that information, Taurus. All right, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for checking out the bonus reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Please consider hitting the like button and subscribing if you, enjoy, if you enjoy my readings. Thank you so much to everyone who's already done that. Don't forget to leave me a comment if it resonated for you, and I'll see you in another video. Take care.